Hey you guys, welcome to day 10 of Ab Camp. Get ready for some serious deep ab work today. We are gonna go go-kart racing. Now, my summer camps didn't usually have go-karts, but maybe yours did. If so, you are lucky. Go-karts are so fun. And we're really gonna be working on pushing that gas pedal and steering today. So that's really gonna wake up our hip flexors and our deep core muscles in a safe and effective way. And really, by now, I hope you're seeing some results. If you've been following from day one, and I definitely recommend that if you are just joining me today for the first time, please stop and go back to day one and work your way up to here. If you start at the beginning and work your way up, you should already be seeing and feeling some serious transformation when it comes to strengthening and toning these deep core muscles. So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna come down onto your back. So we're gonna begin by putting on our seat belt. So go ahead and straighten out the left leg in front of you, right arm overhead. You are going to zip up strong through the core, nice and engaged through the abs and the pelvic floor. So exhale as we put on that seat belt. So cross that seat belt across your body. You don't have to crunch with this. It's not an abdominal crunch. It's really just a full body warm up move. So it's not exactly super hard, but you should feel a little tug on your abdominal area. Waking up your core muscles. Exhale as you bring that opposite hand to the outside of the other leg. So right hand to the outside of the right, left leg. Exhaling. Exhaling. Four more. Last one. And let's put our seat belt on on the other side. <laughs> We've got to be even, right? So engage through the core and full body experience here. Really feel all of the muscles in your body stretching and then strengthening. Integrating the breath and the movement. So exhale. Four more. Abdominals pulled in. Last one. Okay. So we're gonna begin by pushing the gas pedal. So I want you to start just right here on your back. Lift the pelvic floor, lower abs pull in. Make sure that your spine and pelvis are neutral. You're not arching at your low back and you're not pressing it down into the floor. It's neutral. Engage through the core, hands at your sides, and you're just gonna press through the heel. So press through the heel and then back down. Press through the heel and down. So pressing on the gas on each side. We're in our go-kart. Again, keep that spine and pelvis in a neutral alignment. Don't let your low back arch. Take it really slow and controlled. Actually, the slower you go and with more control, the more effective this is. Sometimes it seems like you wanna just get through moves really fast and just quickly do them and that'll make it be more effective and burn more calories, but that's not true. To be more effective, you often have to slow it down and make sure you're using proper form. If you want more action, more work, you can bring your hands behind your head. Just make sure that you're still pressing through that heel and that your low back is not arching. Press through that heel. Let's do four more on each side. Four. Abs pulled in. Three. Two. Don't let your low back arch. One more on each side. Okay. Woo, hug those knees to the chest and hold on behind your thighs and we're gonna rock it up into a tabletop position. So. 
You can be on your fists or your flat hands, whatever is more comfortable for you. You're going to, in one smooth move, lift up. Again, I like to sometimes be on my fists. And you're going to keep your bottom nice and high off the ground and straighten one leg in front of you and then the other. Keep your bottom lifted. Really keep your bottom high. Try not to let it drop down toward the ground. Try to keep your neck long. Don't let your shoulders crunch up toward your ears. Four more each side. Three. Two. And one. And done. Okay, carefully come on down. <sighs> Lean forward. Okay. And we are going to come onto our elbows now. So we're going to do the same idea, the same heel presses, but I want you to do repeaters. We're going to start on our left side and then we'll do our right side. So you're on your elbows. Make sure that your low back isn't rounded like this. You want to be lifted through the chest and your forearms are parallel. So your elbows are shooting straight back, your forearms are parallel, your neck is long and your chest is lifted. Abs are pulled in and we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, abs pulled in, 5, 4, breathing, 3, 2, 1, other side, 10, Pushing through the heel, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. It's a full body workout. Three, two, keep breathing, abs pulled in, one, and go ahead and let it go, relax. Come back up onto your fists, if that's what was comfortable for you, and 10, nine, eight, bottom is high off the ground, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and done. Okay, come down onto your mat, a little bit of a rounded out, and we are going to be up on our hands now. So same exact thing, but you're not on your elbows, you, you are actually on your hands. So lifted through the chest, arms are back, elbows are pointed back, and lifted through the core, and press. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, pressing through the heel, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, other side, 10, 9, 8, 7, chest is lifted, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and last time up onto our fists and ten, nine, bottom is high, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one and done. Okay, Whew, we're almost done guys. Okay, so for this next move, you're gonna sit up nice and tall. You, let's start with our left leg actually. So right knee bent, left leg is out in front of you. And you are going to really lift through the core. So strong and engaged through the abs, really strong. Roll your shoulders back and lift that left leg up. Now. Try not to round. When we first started out on day one, I believe it was, we, we allowed your back to round and pulled in through the core and we plugged that left hip into the left hip socket. This time I want you tall and lifted through the core. This is a lot of work on your hip flexor, but try to hold it here. You can have it bent if you need to, but I'd rather have you have it straight. Now we're gonna use our steering wheel and we're gonna steer away from that outstretched leg. So steer away and you exhale as you turn away. 10 more. Nine, 
Pull belly button to spine every time you turn it in. Try not to let the leg drift out to the side. Keep it shooting straight forward. And three, two, abs pulled in, one, and done. Oh my gosh, that's such work for the hip flexor. Let your legs come out and in, flop apart, let it relax. Shake out your top, shake out your bottom, and then other side. So strong and lifted through the core. Right leg is now out and your left leg is bent, lifted through the core, really lifted high. We're gonna use that steering wheel. We're gonna lift that right leg. Again, it can be bent, but I'd rather have it be straight if you can. And 15 times, we turn that steering wheel. Lifted through the pelvic floor, pulled in through the low abs. Exhale every time you turn. Try not to let the leg drift out to the side. It goes straight ahead. Turning that steering wheel, abs pulled in. This is really big hip flexor work. And five more. One more. Okay. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and relax those legs, flop them out and in. Okay. We are almost done. We just have one more strengthening move and then we have a stretch. So you are going to roll onto your back yet again and we're gonna work those obliques. So what I want you to do, we're gonna think of windshield wipers. You're gonna lift your belly button to the spine just like always. You're gonna lift your pelvic floor. Everything is pulled in and strong. Right knee to the chest and then the left leg. And you can either just stay dropping the knees down and then exhaling up using your abs, dropping them down, and then exhaling up using the abs. Or when you drop your knee down, you can straighten the top leg and then come back up to the middle. Drop the knee down, straighten the top leg, and come back to the middle. Drop the knee down, straighten the top leg, come back to the middle. Drop down, straighten the top leg, and come back to the middle. I'm, the wall is in my way, so I'm gonna turn just a little bit. Be sure when you're doing this that you are going only as far down as you can safely bring yourself back up. So if you go all the way down to the side and then you're stuck, oh, and you can't lift yourself back up, then that's not safe. So you start out doing less than you think you should be able to. So start out by just dropping down a little bit, straightening the top leg, and then exhaling back to the middle. If you can go lower later, go ahead, but start out at this simple level. Take it real slow. Again, the top leg straightens and you exhale as you slowly and with control bring it back up to the middle. Try not to let your legs come forward. You want to keep them up 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees at the hips. Okay, 90 degrees right there. Dropping to the side and then exhaling up, abs are pulling in. Use those core muscles, use your breathing to help you out. Don't let your low back arch and try to keep your shoulders flat on the ground, both shoulders. So when you move to the left, don't let your right shoulder pop up. You're gonna to wanna to use your left hand to help press that right shoulder into the floor. You can use your hands to help, that's okay. Keep your shoulders on the ground and keep going 10 more times each side. Nine. Eight. 
six more each side. Four more each side. Two more each side. Windshield wiper legs. Last one each side. Oh, hug the knees into the chest. Roll to your side and let's do a little cobra pose. So you can either stay right here in Sphinx or you can lift up into a cobra or you can come all the way up if that's comfortable for you, but only if that's comfortable for you. So I like to have my shoulders down and my elbows pointed back and really stretching through the front, or I like to just be up in a sphinx. So then I can really relax into it and stretch out my belly. Try not to let your head sink down into your shoulders like a turtle. You wanna come up out of your shell and really stretch out that belly. Maybe look up and look down. And look up and look down. All right, carefully come up to a seated position. I hope you're feeling wonderful and really feeling that in the, the core, especially those obliques and uh, the hip flexors. All of this is tied in. When we think of a flat tummy, we need to have a fully working, integrated core. All of the muscles, not just the abs. We need the hip flexors, the hip rotators, we need the glutes, we need the back, we need the breathing diaphragm, the pelvic floor. We need it all to be working together and really functioning well so that you can be strong, stable, toned, slim, and feeling fine. So great job today. I'm so glad you joined me and I'll see you tomorrow for day 11, which is a really cool one. So until next time, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. I'll see you next time.